you guys, Mars Naked here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we are going to do the other burst mode mission that has been added for the UI Goku stage of uh, just his Dokkan event here. The good old burst mode modifiers are on. We're going to go for the 6,000 points here mission. Um, like I said in yesterday's video, I did do the accelerated battle one already. Um, I always try and get 6,000 points with both team builds uh, just to show that it can actually be done. But of course, as I mentioned in that video yesterday, if you've already done one of these, like say you did accelerated battle first and you got your 6,000 points, technically all you then need to do to beat the other mission is just select this rapid growth character's mission. You don't have to put any of the other modifiers on. It means you'd only get 700 points. Points, but the event would have no extra difficulty added so it would just be the normal difficulty of a Dokkan event and then you could just smash through it and get the uh, last mission that you need to do but like I said I always try and do the 6,000 points just to show that you can actually do it the uh, rapid growth one does give less points and um, we obviously want to use Kefla because she's such a great unit so we did change from int and physical to str and physical I did check out the str and int but it wasn't super crazy and then of course the one for int str and physical gives so many less points um you'd have to put a bunch of the other modifiers on so we can get away with the 400 or less team cost because there are no lrs on this team uh for the accelerated battle one we had to use the 450 so that gives us some extra points to work with there as well um, and then of course we want to make sure we have our uh, damage reduction uh, set so that the units that we're using are not getting the damage reduction just to make it a little bit quicker um, and then as always I like to give the bosses the extra little bit of defensive ability without giving them too much attack because I don't want to get you know if it takes a little while to finish that's fine I don't want to spend 10 to 15 minutes and then get one shot in the final phase so them having hp and damage reduction is fine no locking because of course that is super irritating and then no items or support memory so this is the team that i've built it's definitely a bit on the weird side but we have the str khalifla there of course mainly for the purposes of the str kale uh, kefla is going to be very good throughout the runs uh uh, the Keflers will be good throughout the run, I should say. Uh, all my Gohans there for defensive support. And then we have the uh, Gotenks because I actually don't remember now, but because this is the one where he has the one-shot Spirit Bomb phase, uh, I'm pretty sure you can seal him. So as long as we get a good rotation where he's not like immediately attacking in slot one, then of course we will be able to uh, seal him so that he can't do the one-shot Spirit Bomb. So that'll obviously be very useful. Uh, and just like I mentioned in yesterday's run with the accelerated battle mission, always try and go for the extra key here where we can because we do have the modifier on where all allies get minus three key. So the team does link very well together, but of course we want to try and get as much key as possible. Um, see if we can get another small number here. We do not. Might as well grab that because like, it won't be anything good, but why not? All right. So uh, in terms of a starting rotation, uh, not bad. Kefla, of course, gets her dodge after supering. So, if ever, you'll have Fused Fighter, yeah. Although, I suppose it doesn't matter, because if we're getting six orbs and they're all um, STR, she's going to be supering anyway. Uh, go ahead and do this. Gohan can just float. Is there for the defensive support. Green orbs spawning in at the top. Nice and uh, clutch there. Decent luck on the first turn for uh, how the orbs came in um, fresh at the top there. So yeah, Kefla, of course, is stacking attack with each of her supers. So the more supers she does, uh, the stronger she's going to be as we get towards the end, which of course is very good. Like her leaving him alive with the tiniest sliver of HP there so she could do a third super attack. So she's super, super beneficial because you get that extra stack. So that works out really nicely. Um, now, can we one turn this phase? Because the thing is going to be... Um, we need Gotenks on rotation for the Spirit Bomb. If we don't one turn this phase, then it becomes a little bit scary in terms of... Um... Oh wow, I never finished Link leveling her. Crazy. Um, yeah, if we, don't, if we don't finish him in one turn here, we absolutely will kill him on the next turn, which then means we won't have Gotenks for the Spirit Bomb uh, phase. So, I don't really want to float Kefla, but we kind of do need to have Khalifla and Kale on the same rotation in order for Kale to be at her best. I mean, fortunately, we're fighting a pure Saiyan and a universe survival saga enemy. So, Kale is going to get all of her buffs from her passive. 
And Khalifa being on rotation means she has guard. So she's going to get a bunch of super attacks off here now. Get a bunch of stacks. Uh, the other thing to point out, of course, uh, is that Kefla is uh, 170 lead. So we are going to see some slightly lower numbers from some of these guys as compared to what we've seen on the 200% showcases where we've been showing off all of these easy A's and everything. But, I mean, you could see from turn one, that doesn't really stop uh, Kefla from going crazy. I mean, 10 million straight off the bat here on turn one. Uh, pretty good. Straight to an 11.2. Okay. Go on, Kefla. Can we get... Uh... Oh, we really needed the extra super. So, yeah, we're not going to kill him here. So, this becomes very awkward. I mean, will Kale... Man, will Kale tank the Spirit Bomb? With how units have increased in... Uh, like, you know, as Power Creep has gone on since this UI Goku event came out. Is uh, is she going to be able to eat it? She's not going to have guard because the Khalifa won't be on rotation, actually. So, that's going to be super awkward. Um, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> We got Super Vegeta, we got Kefla transforming into a Super Saiyan. I mean, there's no way I can not kill him on this turn, I think, right? I'd have to deliberately not get supers with everybody, and then maybe I... I mean, will I even survive if I do that, though? I mean, let's see. How many orbs does Kefla need to get dodge in Super Saiyan 1? I forget. Because he doesn't hit super hard at this point, so... Yeah, two orbs gives her her dodge, so we can do that. And then I don't want to super with Vegeta, but I can't not super. I can't get physical orbs to get any HP, so I could do this. If this works, this will be great. And then, of course, you know, there's always still the problem that I'm going to get onto the Spirit Bomb turn, and he's going to be um, doing the Spirit Bomb immediately in slot one, which would be super awkward. So <laughs> we'll see how that plays out here. Um, but yeah, that worked out quite nicely. Oh, perfect. Okay, I couldn't have asked for... Well, I say that. I've got a whole rotation of uh, STR units and... Oh, no, it's AGL orbs, isn't it, that will make them take damage. So that's fine. So we'll do that. No STR orbs to regain us a little bit of HP, though, sadly. But yeah, Kefla, of course, is now just going to obliterate um, Goku. And now hopefully we get some good RNG for the uh, attack placement of the Spirit Bomb. Because this is, of course, flashbacks to the old days when this event first came out. If he's attacking in slot one, then we just have to hope somebody dodges it or else it's uh, GG. <laughs> but Kefla with the uh, Super Saiyan 2 transformation. We're going to be able to use her active skill as well um, against this guy. And he's attacking in slot one because, of course, he is. Uh... Right, well, is uh, Esti what is her actual dodge chance on this turn? 15% per universe 6 ally on the team. So she does have the 60% dodge chance. Uh, and then Ke Kefla is at 70%. But it's when you pick up the orbs she gets the 70%. Um, so she, she obviously should have the highest chance of dodging him. And then her active skill, isn't it just changes physical to STR, which we don't even... is not even useful for this turn. Yeah. Annoying. Um, can I even get six orbs? No. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Well, this is awkward. So let's go for... I mean, we just have to go for it and see what happens. There's nothing else we can really do. So hopefully Khalifa gets the dodge. 60% chance. We can't get the orbs with Kefla, so we just have to hope that she gets the dodge here. Otherwise, we'll be jumping back in. And she did not, so good times. Okay, so second attempt, we're back to the Spirit Bomb phase. And of course, on this run, there he is only supering in the last slot. So uh, yeah, this time around, not only are we going to uh, be able to seal him before he drops the Spirit Bomb, but there is, of course, the possibility that with as crazy good as Kefla is, he might not even get to attack because this phase, whilst they did make it so that you can seal him, obviously back when the Dokkan event first came out, you could always use a barbell, you could use a ghost usher item or something like that. Um, but of course, to help make it a little bit easier, he doesn't have the craziest amount of HP. Um, so yeah, Kefla, as you can see, now up to Super Saiyan 2. Um, 16 million attack stat. Bear in mind, this is double 170 leads for her as well. So she's going to get at least two supers here. And then even if somehow she didn't kill him, Gotenks is going to get the seal and uh, he won't be able to drop the spirit bomb. But of course, 
when he's going to super you only in slot three, pretty straightforward to get the uh, the W there. So <laughs> all of that is so funny. Like I know so many people I imagine are going to be going through these missions depending on your team build. And then he's just going to be doing the spirit bomb in slot one and then that's it. Now, you could, if you wanted to, if you're really having issues with it, like if you die a bunch of times while you're trying it, um, you could, of course, go for the um, the route, I suppose, of trying to do... Um, you could use items by having the... Just take off the mission where you can't use items, but then you have to make up the points with everything else. So you obviously then would have to um, have a bunch of different modifiers on. Trying to work out, can I get, if I drop this down, that'll be four, yeah, that'll be six, right? Because this will get replaced by the physical one. Then we can actually go ahead and use Kefla's active skill, which we didn't get to use it in the showcase videos. We weren't fighting the right enemy, so I haven't actually used her active skill for, uh, I guess, years at this point, right? Because when do I ever use STR Kefla? <laughs> so there we go we're going to create some str orbs and then that gives her the ability to get six orbs um, as long as Ka uh, Khalifla doesn't sell in slot one and then look at that we even get the orbs for gohan gohan giving everyone the defensive buff on the turn and Khalifla dodges the super let's go i always forget just how late in his super attack animation they actually uh the dodge insert thing comes up so we definitely take those. Uh, she still takes 81k from a normal if she does get hit, but she dodged all but one of them. And then Kefla, 18 million. And of course, is effective against all types on this turn because of the usage of her active skill. So we can blow through this stage, hopefully. And then the goal will be, of course, to use the other Kefla active skill for the final uh, phase. But yeah, just look at this. 21 mil. Again, double 170 leads. Um, it's pretty good. <laughs> 21 million, effective against all types. Oh, and then there's the hidden potential as well. So 22 million cheese. Kefla just absolutely steamrolling this uh, UI Goku into oblivion. You love to see it. And uh, yeah, now we get the final stage against the Whitehead UI. And uh, we can pop the other Kefla, Kefla active skill. God, for GI, I floated him off at some point. So now he's finally back on the rotation. He is a Super Saiyan 2 now. Um, again, we're in an awkward situation with the orbs. Um, you're at 271k. That's not a lot of defense, unfortunately. Um, kind of a shame that Kefla is uh, a bit screwed for the orbs here. Um, she does have the dodge chance built in already, so maybe I just have to do this. Because the orb changing won't really benefit her if we use the active skill, but obviously she will have effective against all types, which will still help. And in Super Saiyan 2, in base, she does have the, um, she does have the 50% dodge chance, so probably just have to go with it here. Um, she's got 300k defense because we did pick up some, uh, orbs, but yeah, it's not really ideal. Um, I can't drop down. This isn't going to connect all the greens, so there's no key for Vegeta, which is super awkward. But, yeah, not really not really much I can do here for Vegeta. We're just going to have to hope that Kefla comes in clutch on this turn. Like I said, she has the 50% dodge chance in base. She dodged his super, so... And she takes double digits from his normal, so there you go. That's, uh... Getting some good luck here with the dodges from the Universe 6 girls. Obviously, this team not the craziest, right? With the uh, free-to-play Khalifla. We've got Super Vegeta, who even... Well, I guess it's just physical, like Super Saiyan transforming Vegeta. Um, not the craziest EZA unit. But, I mean, for burst mode, if you've not got a ton of the modifiers on for attack damage, a lot of these EZA characters are obviously still going to be quite good. And then... Kale going to be able to get her additional supers here because we're fighting the Universe Survival Saga and a pure Saiyan enemy. So we can get a couple of supers off. She's not got her guard, but she's getting some good extra stacks here on her defense. And he's already supered, so he's only going to be dropping a normal attack here anyway. Um, which she then dodged. Okay, nice. Additional Vegeta? No? 43k. Damn. <laughs> All right, well... Uh, again, not a great way, not a great setup for orbs here, but I think we will just go with putting Kefla in slot one. She is, of course, the uh, the powerhouse of the team. Uh, can't get a super for Gotenks, which is a little bit awkward, but we can get some extra orbs. Um, 
Well, she takes 20k in slot one, this one. Okay. But she's up to 18 mil on the starting super. It's always a shame, like, not getting the six orbs with her in this phase. Like, she's still going to be able to be pretty good. But she's not getting the full potential. But it's like, does that really matter when <laughs> the second attack hit 19 mil? Um... The only problem is, of course, not getting any other ones after that. But there's the super dodged again. So we're looking pretty good here. Gotenks might take a bit of a slap in the last slot because he's not supering, but he does at least have type advantage. Maybe we could get lucky and get an additional super with him. Um, look at those monstrous 1.8 attack stats after, uh, from Khalifla after Kefla dropping like 20 mil bombs. <laughs> Zero damage. Let's go. <laughs> good work. Um, Go tanks. Uh, what's yours defense now? 459. Problem is, I don't think she's going to be tanking a super from uh, Goku. I mean, you, you've you got guard if it procs. Man, we're getting some really awkward turns here with the orbs, which is a bit of a shame. But I guess we could do this, do this. Grab these for you. Get the heal. And then Kefla hopefully comes in clutch with the dodges again. She's got the defensive buff from Gohan on this turn, so there you go. All we really needed was for him to not super in slot one or for us to get the dodge. And so that did come in clutch. And now, of course, Kefla. She always gets uh, a decent amount of damage here and one additional, right? Because we got the we got uh, two orbs, so she got some of her buffs. Um, so she should finish him off here. Yeah, there's a crit for good measure as well. So there you go. Um, bit of a janky run. Uh, it did take the second attempt because of the good old fashion. And it's been a few. It's been a few years, right, since we've done this event. The good old spirit bomb in slot one straight away on the uh, spirit bomb phase in a mode where we've put on a modifier that we can't use items or anything. So you literally just have to rely on a dodge, or depending on the build you've brought. Like if you're doing the other mission, you know you've got some nullification. Um, I guess technically it is. Does it count as a key blast super? Because, I mean, it's a giant spirit bomb, but maybe. Because it'd be kind of funny to see physical Rosé negate the spirit bomb. Especially with the animation where he just, and, like, blade cuts the thing in half. It'd be kind of funny to see him do that to the spirit bomb. But, yeah, there you go. That is the rapid growth mission beaten and getting 600 points. I think the accelerated battle one was probably easier, but then I do have Rosé. So, of course, if you have Rosé, that one's probably a lot easier. If you don't, it would be a bit more difficult. But there's the rapid growth mission completed. Like I said, whichever one you find the easiest one to do, do that one first. Whichever one, you know, your category is best, you have the best box for. And then the other one, you can just do that mission with just that modifier on. Be very, very easy, very straightforward, and then you get all the missions done. So there you go. Those are all the missions completed for the UI Goku Burst Mode. Let me know what team you guys use down below for rapid growth. Kefla looking absolutely crazy. Double 170 leads, and she's still doing stuff like that. So what a great easy A. Um, you love to see it. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.